In this video, we're going to show you how to bring your hat back to its original new condition. The next material we're going to talk about revamping is a leather hat. Potentially, quite a few things can happen to your leather hat that you don't like and I'm going to attempt to show you how to fix or help fix those problems. Number one, possibly you don't like the shape of the hat. Maybe this particular hat is too flat and this actual hat has a wire in the brim. And this is a BC hat and it's a Stockman hat, so that's one of our, my, uh, my dad's famous leather hats that he made way back in the day. And the best way to shape a BC Stockman hat, since it has a high tensile fencing wire in the brim, is to turn it over like this, put your palms here, and just give it a slight bend like that. Don't do it too hard, just a little bit. And then you'll say, okay, well, is that Aussie enough for me? And you go, nah, need it more. So you go back down, bend it even more like this, and that's getting more like it. This way the rain runs off the back and the front and that's got more of an Aussie shape that you might like. Now if you don't like that and you've done it too far, it's kind of tough so you might want to put the hat back down, stick some books all around the hat and hopefully after a couple of days that'll kind of work its way into a more flat brim. Another way or another part of a leather hat that could get a bit messed up is um, the crown. So maybe it gets a bit soft and a bit wrinkled. One way to fix that is to take a plastic bag, fill it full of some newspapers and stuff it in the brim. And that'll basically fill the brim. And if you need more, just put more in there. It'll stuff it so it's super tight. Leave it there for a few days and this hopefully will smooth out that leather so there's no more wrinkles. Sometimes people don't really care because it's on their head and your head fills it out anyway, but other people want to at least look at a nice hat when, they're not, when it's not on their head. One other thing that can happen with a leather hat. Perhaps you're like many people and you put your leather hat in the back of your car and you forget it there, it's a hot summer's day, it will shrink. No matter what, it's gonna shrink, at least a size sometimes. And the same thing will happen if you put it in the cold, you leave it overnight and it's snowing outside. All of the moisture from the hat will be sucked away from, from it'll, it's dry, so it'll, it'll uh, shrink as well. Here's how you fix that. Yes, you can get a fancy stretcher, but this is the way we do it in Australia. We take our palms, put it inside the crown of the hat, put your knee up and you stretch. Pull it as hard as you want, you won't break the hat. I always say if you break the hat, we'll give you a new one. So stretch it as hard as you want, back and forth, like this a few times, and that, try it on you, and, and it will sometimes, al almost always the first try works, and you've got your hat back in the correct size again. Another thing that can possibly happen with your leather hat is you'll sweat the leather hat out. And what that means is that there's a sweatband on the inside, a lot of times a nice suede in here. And if you sweat so much that you kind of, it goes through that material and also through the barrier of the hat, and you have a nice dark sweat stain all around here. Now in Australia, that's a sign of a good hat and people just keep on working in it. But sometimes people don't like that. So one way you can fix that especially on an oily hat, is to take some saddle soap. That will darken your whole hat. It'll give it a nice waterproof barrier and it will darken the hat, but it'll basically darken it as much as the sweat stain and the sweat stain will magically disappear. So a bit of saddle soap, you can get it at your hardware store and that'll do the trick.